Greetings guys, welcome back to another video. And my subscribers, um, they left a lot of information in the comment section telling me videos that I should look at. Um, this video right here shows the, the first appearance of of um, what I guess is one of Haman's scammer wives, right? So um, I want to give the, the people credit but I can only remember one person's name. The other person actually gave me the the name, the, the title of the video to look for and the timestamps that I should look at. I've been looking for your name. I'm sorry I can't give you credit right now, but I'm gonna give you credit when I do find your name. I'm sorry about that. The other person, her name is um, Ida Jallo. Thank you for all the information. This community is, is, is crazy. It's, it's like a, it's, it's a full investigation task force I have at my disposal. It's like, these people are literally scouring through his entire page, the, the whole internet, YouTube, looking for information and just sending it to me. And I mean, up until this point, you know, I was trying to defend Haman. I really was. I was putting all the blame on, on, on what I thought was the, was the female, you know, that was putting all the pressure on the mother and the brother to, to say these things, to raise $100,000, you know, so that she could, she could dip back to America with it. But, you know, with, I mean, with these new revelations and all this new information, you know, Haman Jalo has become indefensible. So I'm gonna play this first clip, you know, um, all credit goes to my subscribers that have been leaving me um, comments and tips. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the video. When you send me anything at the GoFund, I will really appreciate it. So that I can do the work I want to do also. Yeah, thank you very much. I can show you my, uh, my, my first wife was there, it's a body. Yeah. Is there about Yeah, see, see, uh, this is my first one. Look at the I wow, so he just said this is my first wife. You could see how hesitant she is to get on camera. He had to tell her to look at the camera. I mean, she only looks at the camera lens or the, the, the phone, the cellular, the cell phone camera for, I mean, a fraction of a second. Like the whole time she knows what's in her mind. You know, Haman, he, you know, at this point, what I get, I feel like he thinks that she really loves him. She really cares about him. And that's the expression that we see on his face. He looks happy, delightful. And then we, when we look at her face, let me, let me, um, let me back that up just a bit so we could just see her ent enter the um enter the frame and you know the the hesit hesitancy to look at the camera or even be seen with him. Yeah, see, see, uh, this is my first one. Can look at the camera. Hmm. Now you can. Now you can go. Tilts her head. She gives that same head tilt that he that she gave his mother. Like this is two weeks later. The date on this is July first. So remember the date, July 1st is the first appearance of, of this of this scammer right here. I'm gonna run that back one more time. I like to see things repet repetitively so it could sink in. And, and um, this ain't entertainment, folks. This is like real investigation and, and, and fact finding and stuff like that. So you guys that are bored by repetitiveness, this, is, this isn't for you. Let me run that back. Hmm. Does not wanna be seen with him. She knows what she got planned for him. You know what this whole thing reminds me of? If y'all ever seen seen that Batman movie with the Joker, when he when he was robbing that bank and he hired a whole bunch of whole bunch of um bank robbers to rob the bank with him and they was all dressed like the Joker, and as one person completed a task, he paid he told the other person to kill that person, and then another per like one like one person with with um he would cut off all the all the telephone lines and stuff like that so they couldn't they couldn't signal the police to come. He cut the lines and then a person would kill him. Another person would open up the vote and then another person would kill him. And then the, the last person, like the Joker would be the last man alive with the with the van full of cash, with the with the school bus full of cash. This is like this. You know? Everybody's everybody's planning to knock the other person off. So she so he think he think he he's scamming us out of a hundred thousand dollars, right? She knows she's scamming him. That's why she don't want to be seen on camera. You know what I mean? The 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 lady that's supposed to be her posing as her. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's just a whole bunch of people that don't care nothing about each other and they all about to stab each other in the back and it's, and it's gonna be the last person which is probably gonna be this lady right here or, or would have been the last person 
this lady right here with the hundred thousand dollars on a on a Brussels plane back to New York or wh wherever she from on the East Coast, right? So, so the video ends right there. If you want to see this video for yourself, the title is. If you want to see more about my African life, please donate to my new my new GoFundMe details below. He had an old gun GoFundMe. I think that was set up by Renee Marcus. So this is his, his new GoFundMe that was that he just says was set up by his wife that he's living with. I don't I don't think we caught that part. Let, let's make sure. So it's, it's uh, African American. So now she's uh, first wife. And then my GoFundMe now that one. Okay. Concrete. So he's talking about his GoFundMe right now. Milk the pillars. Yeah. And then now I'm walking the house very soon also, but it's not easy to walk it. Yeah. And then my GoFundMe now, that one, I, I have control with my GoFundMe because uh, uh, I, I'm with someone which you know, she's my wife now. She's my he's with some, someone that we know and, and she's his wife now. My first wife. So it's, it's uh, African American. So now she's, uh, she's in Gambia here. I'm living with her. So he says she's an African-American and he's living with her. Okay. So then my go for now, I'm, con I'm controlling that one uh, by myself. She's the one who helped me to get more of those ones. Okay, so this is this is confirmation that this woman right here that just that just came in, in into the frame for a half second before she, she ran back out the frame, he said that she helped him set up his new GoFundMe account, which he has in the title right there, right? So, and he also says he's living with her. But check this out. Damn, Haman, man, I can't, I can't even defend you anymore. God damn. All right, now in this video, I actually got notes right here. Okay, so I gotta go back to one minute. Yo, this is all, this is all my subscribers right here. They not having it. You know what I mean, they want the truth to come out. They like you defending him, and and, and, and and he's guilty. These are Gambians right now, and it, it ain't me. If you could, if you check the the comment description, you'll see you'll see people talking about I'm Gambian, I'm Gambian, I'm from Gambia, and Hamid Hamid is complicit with this. He's just as guilty as, as all the rest of them. And I'm just like, damn. After all this information, so okay, they told me they instructed me to go to, to one minute four seconds. Let me see. Let me go. Just give me a second. The brother's about to say that the wife lives with them. No, no, this is the wrong video. It's the other video. Give me a second, guys. Here it is. Here it is. I hey, guys, welcome back to another video. See, I got to use my video because they, they took the video. They took their... Hamid took the video off his channel, so now I got to use the video that I put up. So let me see if I can find where his brother that we looking at right now says that the wife lives with them in, in the dilapidated house with the cracks in the wall and the and the parts falling off off of everywhere. Good Let me see if I can find it. Help people in need of it's, it's especially bad now, the turn off. Mm. Poor thing, man. I'm trying to see how late it breaks my heart. That, 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 because they're... Each one of you, if you have 25 dollars, and give it to him, mm. then we can able to start work and You see what happened? You see what happened in, in the first video where you see the first appearance of Hamen's wife, right? That was on July 1st. The GoFundMe, the new GoFundMe that he talks about, here it is right here. The creation date is June 6th. It was created about a month ago, a month before that video where, where we see her for the first time. And he says, she's the one that created it, right? So in this video, somewhere in this video, this brother right here says that the wife is living with them. When in the, in the previous video that I just showed you, Hamid says that, that he's living with the wife. He's not even living with the mother in, 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 that, in that broken down house, but since I don't have the original original vil, uh, uh, video available, but maybe I do, cause I like I want y'all to hear it. But at the same time, I don't want y'all to I don't want to bore y'all. But at the same time, this is not an inter, inter, um, entertainment channel. This is a fact checking channel. You know what I'm saying? Where we expose the facts and the truth, and we and we bring criminals to justice and things of that matter. You know what I mean? So let me just let me take my time and stop rushing through things, cause I'm trying to please the wrong people. I got people talk about. 
stop trying you know what i mean just focus on good things and nice things and just let evil scammers run amok and do as they please and still people still um hard working honest people's money no nah, i'm not gonna do that yo i'll spend i'll spend my time the way i see fit if i want to expose people i expose people all right here it is right here where it is where's that value No value. Let me see, let me see. No value. No volume on that one. We be scamming. Let me see, let me see, folks. Ah, right, you know what? Let me jump. Let me jump to my next video. What we got here, what we got here. I showed you, I showed you the GoFundMe. And this is a little message that um his scamming wife wrote. <clears throat> she says, hi everyone. This is what she put at the bottom of the GoFundMe after everybody voiced their frustration with the way she was demanding that people um, send their money in order to apologize for comments left, in, left on Hamid's YouTube channel. And if they, if they wanted to um, view his life, they needed to send their money. And the brother demanding that people pay $25 each and they'll, they'll reach their $100,000 goal. So this is a message that she left when people, um, you know, became angry and started to unsubscribe from their YouTube channel. And she says, hi, everyone. This is I Icy. Mm. Icya. I want to apologize for taking the focus off our severe problems and putting, in, and putting them on my boisterous attitude. I'm an Aries. I was overzealous. I couldn't see clearly, but y'all made me see. My campaign was unsuccessful. I'm so sad because they are, we are in sincere need. I was only trying to strongly drive home the, drive home the point. I'm dumbfounded and my eyes flood with tears. Even I told my family, no, I shouldn't speak, but they didn't know. I just did it because I didn't want them to think I was, that I thought I was too good to ask for help along with them. On the bright side, at least now, they know that I said I shouldn't speak. Thank you all my sisters and brothers and donors for making me a better person or we changed our life. In the future, I will be more humble, just doing what's needed of me without talking. I know I can't, I know I can't come across as arrogant and abrasive, but I'm not usually aware of it until it's pointed out to me. I mean well, but I dropped the ball. I admit it. Well, I explained everything as best I could. May Allah help all of you call upon him for help. May Allah help all who call upon him for help. Thanks. Your African-American sis, Aisia Jalo. So that was the message that she left at the bottom of, her, of the, her, her new GoFundMe page that is now deleted. But luckily I took a screenshot. So we got that for our records and our documents. All right, let me see if I can find that. I'm just gonna skip that audio. I, I, I'll put it in a later video because um. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get to everything in this video, so make sure y'all y'all subscribe and, and hit that bell for, um, for when I post another video on this subject matter, because you know what I mean, more and more details and facts just keep on coming out. So here is basically the woman that started off. She um, you know, she helped connect um Haman with people that wanted to help him and donate money. So he could buy land and, and help himself. And now it, you know, she, um, Hamid has allegedly, or, or has turned on her and is demanding that he give her, that she give him more money because he's claiming that she re received donations that she didn't turn over to Hamid. So now he's angry with her, demanding that she sent him, um, she sent him more money. So let's see, she, um, she says that she spoke to his dad on the phone. Let me see if I can find that. I got my notes right here. Says she spoke to Haman's um, father on the phone and this is what he had to say. Dad, can I use your phone please just to play a few voice notes from Haman's dad's voice messages. This is my dad's phone and I'm just gonna <sighs> I'm broken to actually do this. It's too late anyways to ring anyone at this time. It's just showing calling, so which means he's not online. 
has done nothing to her man even though she played part with her man to actually cancel everything because she was the one that cancelled it for her man because costed us 600 pounds and my dad bought three Do the calculation for yourself okay Hello. this is her man's dad he used to speak mostly well off with us but i was just played because i know my gambian brothers and sisters will listen and the ones learning well off as well he did throw some 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 english in there that's why sometimes you gotta leave people right where you found them because they'll you'll help them up and they'll drag you right down and try to destroy you but let me just show you guys i wish i could check turn the camera this is Hammond's oh god okay let me just steady this so that this is Hammond's dad and these are all messages Herman's dad was the first one that sent me the boat. Oh God, I've got low battery on my phone. Herman's dad was the first one that sent me the boat um, video because Herman was never there to support his dad. Then later on, Herman uploaded a video. Everyone is like, I'm proud of Herman. So, she say, so she's saying that Herman was never there to support his own father. That's Herman's dad. Um when the new boat that was the new boat i got this even before Haman got this let me try i uploaded this video if you are a regular follower you will know this video has been uploaded on my channel youtube That's Herman's dad. I used to send Herman's dad the videos. I called Herman on that Monday. Herman refused to answer my house. He knew people are saying I went to his house unexpected. Please. So here she's saying that, you know, after she heard that Herman was accusing her of stealing, stealing his donation money, that she arranged for him to get in the first place. I mean, we already see how men buy land, buy chickens, buy, buy goats, you know what I mean, buy bricks, buy all type of stuff. You know what I mean? We, we already seen that. And he wouldn't have been able to do any any of that without Renee, Renee Marcus connecting him with, with the people that gave him the money to do all that. And now he turned around and said that she she stole his money and she's in the Gambia, Gambia spending the money on, on herself when, when she was living in the UK. You know what I mean? She was over there working in the UK, making her own money, doing her own thing, and and, and reached out to him and gave, and built him a platform from scratch, a YouTube channel, PayPal, email, set him up. He ain't know how to do none of that. This woman did all that for him, and he turned around and said, hey, you owe me more money. But this is after, this is after he met that woman that, that set up the, set up, um, the new GoFundMe and, and all that and been milking him dry. Please do let me know. I have tried. Uh, let me just, just bear with me. Let me try to get to the meat and potatoes. Over two occasions now. I've been to Herman's house. He knew people are saying I went to his house unexpectedly. Why would I do that? Herman is the main reason why I wanted, um, I yeah, so Renee Marcus be going to his house and he ain't there. The reason why he ain't there is because he's at his, his, his chick's house, the one from America who, who's trying to um, get us for 100, 100 grand. One day, and also to pay my respect to, to, to his family. Spoke to her man on a Thursday. He was shocked to know that I was in the Gambia. When I said, it's Renee, he was like, which Renee? I said, Renee, your sister. And I said to him, on Monday, I'll be at your place. Can you please be there? He said, yes, no problem. Got there, Herman wasn't there, but he told his mom that I was coming. Uh, he's at his chick's, chick's house eating um, Snickers miniatures. So the family knew I was coming. They were expecting me. I called Herman on that Monday. Herman refused to answer my call because he's running away from me. He knows what he's done. 
Yeah, he think he's gonna run back to America, but boy, he's gonna miss that plane because it's gonna be only that, only that female scammer on the plane all by herself with a duffel bag with a hundred grand, or at least that was the plan. To, on Wednesday, when I saw the comments, people saying, Runner, you're a scammer. I called Haman and said, Haman, this is okay. In three days' time, Haman, I want to see you. I want to sit with you off camera to discuss this, me and your family, so we sort this out. And I want you to go and clear my name on social media. I've been saying this to Haman since day one. He said, okay, Sister Renee, I have no problem with you, blah, blah, blah. Why are you running away from me? I'm in the Gambia. If you're saying someone stole your money and the person is in the country, same country as you right now, why don't you catch your teeth? Why don't you sit with me and show me proofs? Make, make, make me speechless. So, okay, your viewers will be more happier. Ham is only doing what he's told. You know what I mean? He's accusing you of taking his money because the girl, the girl that he's with, the girl that he met at the nightclub with, with the fake eyelashes, she's the one that put him up to this. She's the one that put him up to saying that you took his money. I mean, because she knows that she wants to that she knows what she's going to do to him. And she thinks that you doing the same thing that that she intends to do. You know what I mean, so that's why they're accusing you uh, of, of taking money from Hamid. Yeah, to see, OK, Ronnie has done this, but you're bashing and attacking a girl that has not done nothing but help. Guys. Like, yo, if it wasn't for this lady, Hamid would still be digging old vans out of ditches. You know what I mean? For the bag family. I did not want to do this, like I keep saying to you guys. But enough is enough. If you keep prov um, provoking a tiger till you touch its tail or a lioness, that lioness will attack. I am kind, I am patient. But it's enough. I've only worked with Haman three weeks. Mm. But I can't be insulted about Haman for a whole year. That's it's messed enough. up. And I want this rubbish to stop today. It's messed up, Haman. If it doesn't stop, my next step will be I me him. going to court with Haman before I leave the Gambia for him to prove to me. Yo, Haman, you're going to have to jump out in front of this, man. I can't defend you anymore, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to you're gonna have to confront this, man. You can't just keep on digging wells and, and, and laying bricks like none of this is going on, man. You done lied to people. You done presented two different women as the same woman. Talk about that's your African-American wife. You done lied on this woman. You done disgraced her family. Talked about her father. Accused her of stealing your money when she's the, when she's the one that, that changed your whole life. Come on, Hamid, man. I did my best to defend you. These people, yo, people are in my comment sections. They starting to get mad at me. Gambian people are starting to get up, upset with me because they think I'm telling half, half truths. You know what I mean? That I'm just I'm just accusing this African-American lady. I'm just letting you walk scot-free. And they just sending me video after video. Hey, what about this? What about this? What about this person saying this about Hamid? And I'm just like, humna, humna, humna. Yo, I can't defend you anymore, man. You got to, yo, listen, man. You just, you, you got, you got to come on camera. And you gotta you gotta pull the veil off that off of both of them ladies' faces, man, and show the world. And, and you gotta apologize, man, and, and 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 give us a good reason why you did all this, man. Come on, Hami, you got me, you got me looking bad. My whole comment section is just filled with people getting mad at me because they feel like I'm like I'm protecting you. And in a way, I was, man. It, it, it's it's not right what you're doing to these people, Hami, man. Stop doing this, B. Log into his PayPal account. I want him to log into his PayPal account mm. that I opened Damn. for him. Lay got digital receipts, man. How, yo, come on, man. Lay got digital receipts. You can't fake that. Lay said she want to log into the PayPal accounts. Matter of fact, she posted them. Her, her and a, a lady gave Hamid seven grand. I, wait till I get to that, man. Damn, I want this to be a short video. I, I can't even do a short video. I can't. It's, it's too much information, folks. So that he can show me all mm. the proofs. Got what I've taken from him and then I can show him all the receipts mm. how I sent it to him Whew. got your real name and all that man hey, wait, where is it Look. sorry guys I'm just going through my dad's messages no. hey. here's the receipts oh perfect there it is Alma mm. Mijalo 
That's his real name. But I don't need Al Mami Jalo yet. That's his real name. I need Al Mami Al Mami Jalo is Haman's real name. I need Bangura. Bangura was the one I was sending the money before Haman had his own ID card. Uh, let me put number three. Look at all the money she done. She done sent Haman. This lady sending Haman money, sending her people money. Yeah, you know I mean, like from the from the UK, sending it, wiring money back to the Gambia to help her people. Look at all the people she done helped, and she she got about six seven payments on this account right here that she sent to Haman. Yeah, you know I mean, I can't I can't see this and still defend Haman. I was doing it, and I was and I was gonna do it, but. I, I didn't see this before. You see, you see information. That's why people say, "Yo, there, there, there's, there's his side, her side, that person's side." I don't know the saying, but and the truth. And, and here it is. Three. Oh, Bangor is there. So before Haman came on the page, I still send money every single week, every single month to my people. Mm. Uh, I think it starts from the bottom. Lays official, man. I had screenshots and I arranged everything. She got all her, bu all her business out here for us to see. All her business, her, all her bank see. receipts, her account information, all that. Yeah, try, sound well, but trying to clear her name for helping somebody, man. You know what I mean? That that's what bothers me because I can't I can't refute this. Who could refute this? You know what I mean, they was they was attacking her like I like they they was put leaving nasty comments in her comment section and stuff like that. Yo, yo, we as a people, we gotta cut out the jealousy, man. When you see somebody doing good, man, you can't just hate on them just because somebody's doing good. Yeah, you know I mean, yo, this is wrong, man. She had to show her all her business for people to leave her alone. Perfect. This was the first two payments I ever sent to Ham. Mm. So how am I gonna do this? Lord help me. Mm. Perfect. Okay. Got dates. Uh, see Samuel. Let's see if I can zoom in. Anyway. That that's a that's some <laughs> guy that she was okay, sending money okay. to to give to Haman. So guys, I and then she and then she this. found a way to send it directly to Haman. She about to say that right now. Oh boy. Are you stressed out? Middle so, of night, putting this out there. Sa Samuel hmm. Bangura was the first two payments I sent this by this time. Kenneth. He's also a YouTuber. He's an old friend. He's in the States. He was the one that sent these, I think, the $14,535 to Haman, but through me. So I can send it to Haman to buy sheep and chickens. So that guy was the first person that ever donated to Haman. And then, yeah, that money. And then Haman then requested for another one which was 9,537. Are you guys seeing? Oh, and then there you go. Another cookie just showed up. I've been sending Haman money, but Haman so it seems like the money lost, got, got, got stolen somewhere. Uh, Alma Mijalo. Then Haman, by this time, he got his uh, ID card. So I've zoomed it, guys, so you can see. So they went to court. Nah, she, I mean, she went to his house. He ain't there. Call on the phone. He say, um, we can meet up. She get okay. there. He ain't there. She, he's ducking, dodging. Don't want to meet up with her. Don't want to talk to her. Hmm. Blue Aspen, whatever, whatever. She, she willing to go to court. I don't know what you're talking she about. She willing to go to court to clear her name. Let me let me fast forward this a little bit. Cause she gonna get she about to get to the um big deposits. Oh. So let me just scroll up because I'm sure we have Oh There they go. There's another one. Let me just screenshot this. Yeah, this one screenshot. right here. I like this. Sent to her man. Blah blah blah. That's awesome. This goes on. That's also another receipt. This one right and here. I'll show you guys when my account actually got blocked after sending. She she sent him so much money. She sent him over four thousand um euros. That's that's over four thousand um US dollars. 
to the point where her account got blocked for suspicious activity? The huge amount of money. Oh, let me ring Taju and see if he can send me those screenshots again. And Fast forward. On the other remaining receipts that my thousand nine hundred and thirty six hundred and the money See, that's the money that's that he bought his man with right up top how i used to make so much money and then this was what he bought the land which i could not send the money um all at once so i had to send hundred and twenty seven thousand nine hundred and thirty six dollars if you check that in pounds, that's like 1,800 pounds. And then, look, I then sent, oh, let me just highlight this. I then sent uh, 127,906. The same day, I sent again 121,984. So you guys can do the calculation. So if someone was to scam you, really, would they actually send you all that money? Nah, no way. So she's showing, she's showing us right now, she sent two big payments, one of which he used to buy his land. You know what I'm saying? Like, even like, like, like let's say, let's say she had $10,000, right? And she sent, Common five thousand, right? You didn't have nothing. You was dead broke. You was, you was working for fifty dollars a month. Whatever, whatever they, whatever he was getting paid at, at doing the work he was doing, and, and he was doing some hard labor, some work for other people, not even for himself. You know what I mean? Even if she kept half the money, would you go and say, "Yo, I want, I want, give me more money"? You know what I mean? Somebody done changed your life, enable, enable you to buy land. You 21 years old, your, your, your parents are, are renting. They don't even own land, land of their own. And somebody, somebody raises money and, uh, and allows you to buy land and start building and buy, you know, buy chickens and make a chicken coop and all this type of stuff like that. And you're going to drag their name through the mud. You know what I'm saying? And say that they, 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 they stole your money and they living good off of your money. Now they in the Gambia. You, you bought their plane ticket and they living good with the money they raised in your name. Listen, I'll be like, Yo, yo, thank, if that was, if, if I was in that position, whatever I got, I would say, thank you. That would be it. Whatever they kept, let them keep it. Thank you for what you gave me. Thank you for the start you gave me, but man, this is a different type of dude, man. You know what I mean? Receipts is receipts. I, 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 I have to see things with my own eyes. You know what I mean? When somebody so, show me something, I believe, you know, seeing is believing to me. Let me see. Let me see. What else I want to show y'all? I'm his real name. We got the receipts. Uh, 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 let's see, let's see. 452. Somewhere in here. Let me see. 113. Right there. Boom. How many, if you have someone to help you, go ahead, let them help you because I'm always busy. That was my word all the time. See, right now she's talking about um, the YouTube channel, the PayPal she set up for him his email like i guess Hamid can't really read that good and he can't set things up so she was saying if you have anybody to manage all this stuff for for you i'll change the passwords and give it to you and you could you could let them help you because i'm busy with my own life this is a professional woman she was living she was living outside of gambia making her money like i said before so she, she she's saying yo like i don't want your money here I'm, I'm turning everything all over to you i don't want to manage your stuff and you you think that i'm taking your taking your money here take it all what's wrong with me getting his dad in, um, involved to help him so as we seen in the other video with, with Hamon's father we see you see him with the with the pen and paper writing with his glasses on she wanted to turn it over to his father and have his father manage everything but the relationship between Hamon and his father wasn't what it seemed to be what was wrong with that he got pissed off and said, Renee, don't communicate with me and communicate with my dad because I don't want you to communicate with me. Your dad communicating with me, my dad communicating with me. Mm. I said, okay, that's fine. Mm. 
they can explain how his mom can explain how many times Haman has actually helped him, helped her, and what the dad has was crying for till he passed away. Mm. The family themselves, I can just give them the phone and stand just on the side, and they can explain for themselves. And the Haman that you guys are believing is doing it for the family. He's not. He's doing it for himself. All right. So she said that his father was crying, was crying to her about Haman. Like, well, I, like, um, there's something I want y'all to hear. I wrote down. Let me see if I can find the, the time where she talks about the father actually crying because what happened was he started managing the money and he was and he was giving it to Haman as Haman asked for it. And then when he finally ran out of money, he had like a little bit left. And then Haman got mad at his father because I guess um he the father had to use it to to top off his phone, his his cellular phone, put more minutes on it on his phone and and Haman stormed out the house. So it's like when it came to money, man, he was a different type of person. I've been quiet. I might just play another voice note from the dad because I start few. Yeah, play it, sister. Let's hear it. Because it's 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 a lot. Uh, I mean, I might I might need my Gambian people. I might need my Gambian brothers and sisters to translate this voice note left by Haman's father. We we get into the bottom of the bottom of this because, yeah, you know I mean, nobody really can force you. Yeah, you know I mean, you got to be somewhat with it. To pull up a scheme this grand and, and what she's saying makes makes more sense than actually than what we're seeing you know what i mean anybody that's gonna tell you two different people is, is his american wife ain't all good oh man okay how much that let me see he was speaking well of This is well of I want more English. That's the dad. That's the dad. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to need somebody who speaks, um, what was that, Wolof? I'm going to need somebody who speaks that language to translate it and leave it in the description, leave it in the comment section below. Please, you know what I mean? So I, I need somebody to translate that because that, that's very important information right there. And it was explained. That was a message left by Haman's father to Renee Marcus or Renee Marcus's father. And all we, what we used to say to Haman's dad is never get upset at Haman. He's too young. He still needs your prayers. Don't turn your back against Haman because that's the end of Haman. Mm. And the dad is now explaining Haman is not a good person. How can he be enjoying while they are suffering? I think this part, he says it in English. And he says... But, but before, before I, um, I play that, that makes, a, that, that makes a lot of sense. Because when Haman got that money, right? Um, I think the lady's name is Nadir or Nadia. I'll leave it in the um, the description. She donated seven thousand dollars to Haman, right? And he bought land with it. Why didn't he? Why didn't he change the condition of his parents' house? 
while they was alive. So now, so now she's saying right now, Haman's father saying, how can he be enjoying that money while they there suffering? Yeah, you know I mean, in that he called his all like the um, Haman siblings and his wife as well, which is Haman's mom, to sit to basically talk about the situation in the house and how Haman is not helping them. How can he be enjoying while we are suffering? How can we be enjoy? How can how can he be enjoying while we're suffering? Let me just go back. Yeah, man. The last day, what my man is fucking is fucking the farm chance. We're not the floor we are. Because okay, I'm only in the middle of this How can be? How can he be enjoying while we are suffering? And mom. He then went on to say, the money that Haman has been wasting, pisit pasarin, means wasting, it's just a saying in Wallah. When that money is meant for all of us, because that money has been donated to Haman to build a, ha uh, to, to, to build a home for his family, because that's what he said to his subscribers. And you guys, you saying, oh, Haman. You know, this makes sense. You know, that that's how, that's why he was able to meet some random woman, bring her, bring her into his, his family's home and have that woman look at his mother like this. I want, I mean, I want to, I want to ask each and every one of y'all, right? I mean, my, my mom's not even here anymore. But all I know is if I brought a woman home and she looked at my mother like that, psh, mm, come on now, yo. You let somebody look at your mother like that? Huh? I mean, so it, 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 it makes sense. It makes, it, it makes sense. It, it, it's, it's, it rings true. I mean, she's playing the voice notes. We 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 hearing the man on the phone. I can't wait to hear to see the translations in, in in the comment section. Pat, he says it in English, and he's saying that he called his all like the um, Haman siblings and his wife as well, which is Haman's mom, to sit to basically talk about the situation in the house and how Haman is not helping them. How can he be enjoying while we are suffering? How can we be enjoy? How can how can he be enjoying while we're suffering? Let me just go back. Man's gone now, man. He's passed. He's gone. You know what I'm saying? He's gone now, right? Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. See? We got that right there. Where's that other video? Just give me a give me a second. I don't got no full production crew, it's just me, okay? So y'all gotta bear with me while I um bring these presentations to y'all. Can't find it right now. I wanted I wanted to show y'all the video where um when Haman's father was, you know, was still alive and, and how happy and how happy his mother was. You know what I mean? How 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 she looks totally different right here. You know what I mean? She don't got nobody to protect her now, man. These people are bringing vipers and villains into their home and just and just forcing them to say whatever they want to say to raise money. When Haman got that money the first time, he didn't help them. You know what I mean? I like like I I ain't put the whole thing together. You know what I mean? Thank you to my subscribers and and I'm so happy with the with the community community that that we're forming right now, where it's just people that just we just we just want the truth. You know, we're trying to we're trying to do good, but at the same time, we don't want to be deceived. We don't want to be tricked. If somebody needs needs real help, we want to help that person, but we don't want to be tricked out of our money for somebody that that's just lazy and wants to just just wants everything handed to them. You know, we're not here for that. You got to work for what you get in life. You know what I mean? So I was trying to show y'all that other video because you know, just a comparison of, of, of how it is when you have somebody who's alive that loves you and is there to protect you 
and then you have you know like 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 a like a i mean it could be your own child man p there's people that that's just born with no soul man it could be a brother it could be a sister it could be a relative it could be anybody there's people that just come into this realm with just no soul in them you know what i mean and they and they'll, they'll look so pathetic and you'll feel sorry for them man It'd be the worst thing you ever did it's happened to me Because how can be how can he be enjoying while we are suffering? Mm. Clear as day. Clear as day. And mom Alice will never be the Pasar Yep. He would Alice be there. He then went on to say, You don't got no heart, man. You was on camera talking about, Yes, dad. Yes, dad. Yes, dad. And, and, and this is how you treating a man. This is how you treating your family. Come on, man. Damn. Mm, I feel like I got got. And I ain't even said no money just because I was trying to defend you. The money that Haman has been wasting, pissed passerin means wasting. It's just the same in one. When that money is meant for all of us. Because that money has been donated to Haman to build a ha uh, to, to to build a home. Yo, real talk, Haman, man, you better jump out in front of this, man. I'm telling you, before the Gambian people, man, they they outside your house with with, with torches and pitchforks, man. You better you better start. Yeah, you know I mean, like, don't make another video working on your house, man. Before you come come out and and, and address all this. Yeah, you know I mean, before you apologize to this one for everything that you did. You know what I mean? And for you and, and, and also take the mask off them them two kind artists so they're totally exposed so they can't do this to nobody else in in, in the Gambia or America. You know what I mean? People go to prison for this type of stuff for a long time. You should be happy we just asking for for a, a public apology. For his family, because that's what he said to his subscribers. And you guys, you saying, Oh, Haman got shown to the wall through backs. I said that. Absolutely you're right. But I gave Haman's contact. I gave Haman the access, and I gave you all the access to get mm. in touch with Haman. Yep. Don't forget that. No. Nope. So, what's there to say? Okay. Let me just play this. Where's the dog? I'm ready and yo, you know, yo, the father, the father adored this woman. He had a relationship with this woman. He talked to this woman. He he's sharing personal feelings about his son to this woman. Yeah, you know I mean, and when we seen him, yeah, you know I mean, he wasn't so he wasn't showing no signs of sickness, illness, nothing. The man was sitting there with his pen and paper, his glasses on, reading, doing, doing, doing work. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, he's gone. Like, I, yo, I, like I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't even want to read my comment section, man. The, in this video right here, I don't, I, I'm scared to to look at what I might find in the comment section. Somebody might say, "Go look at this video." You know what I mean? And I'm like, I, I ain't. Yo, the man's gone now. I'm like, this man's like, yo, how many who you think he was, man? We here suffering, yo. He's over there spending money, partying, buying, buying clothes, smoking weed, doing. Then I then I seen this video right here. Look, check this out. Check. Look, look, look at his eyes in this video. You know what I mean? Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me let um let me let Renee Marcus say what she got to say. I wrote it down right here. The timestamp. Let me see. One ten. Right here. You know what I mean? Did my research. One time. Let me play this for y'all. Gave him his money. I was trying to control him not to waste the money because if you didn't know how man smokes weed. If you're a weed smoker, you know what I'm talking about. You know how man. I worked with Haman, gave him his money. 
I was trying to control him not to waste the money because if you didn't know how man smokes weed, if you're a weed smoker, you know what I'm talking. Let me let me run that back. She said, "If if, if you didn't, if you if you don't know how man, he smokes weed. He's he's a weed smoker. You know what I mean? So a a, a, a lot of people that smoke weed, very unreliable. They don't take life serious. You know what I mean? They just they just in a fog and a daze most of the time." irresponsible all that so let me run that back let me play this and show you show you the video i was trying to control him not to waste the money because if you didn't know how man smokes weed if you're a weed look, smoker look you eyes. know what i'm talking about look at his face you right know here. Haman. and he promised me he was gonna stop because i said to him if you don't stop half of your money will go to that he said to me renee i don't drink but I do smoke and I'll try and stop. I said to him, okay. Weekends, he wants to party. He have his friends around. Everyone calls him Haman, the Gambian King. I gave him that name. I created the account. He didn't come up with it. And he felt like he needed more than what I was giving him. So he decided to remove me out so he can have full control to um, party. Now what happened was, his, his new his new wife, you know his fake wife, the scammer wife, you know she's the one that convinced Hamen to kick Re Renee Marcus out the picture, and and so she could take control um total control of all his his PayPal and his GoFundMe and every and everything like that, and not tell Renee Marcus who was trying to get him to quit quit doing drugs, straighten his life out, take care take care of his parents, take care of his his siblings. You know what I mean? Like, like for him to use that money, what it was intended to be used for. But he didn't want that. You know what I mean? He just wanted to have fun and party on the weekends and chill. You know what I mean? And hang out, hang out with this. You know what I mean? This, this, this. You know what I mean? This, this. Mm. It's hard to even call a human being, man. It's rough, man. It's rough when you only want to refer to a woman as a woman, man, because they so damn wicked and evil. Look at that, man. Hmm. That's the part that did it for me, man. That two seconds right there. That's the part that did it did it for me. You know what I mean, Hamid's mother, man. Damn. Hmm. You could imagine that, man. You got your mother, man. Father passed away, and she's like, man, I'm I'm I, I'm under. I'm under total, total captivity right now, yo. You know what I mean? My two sons, my two sons got me, got me being held hostage. You know what I mean? With this, with this devil from America. You know what I mean? Just telling me what to say. The brother behind the camera telling me what to say. Say it, say it. It's Haman's wife, Haman's wife. These are my two, my two children. Hmm. And now to hear Renee Marcus say exactly what we thought. You know, like, I mean, just, just making sense of why she's in, you know, I didn't think that, but I just knew that the mother was in a bad situation, but I just didn't know how, how involved the, the two sons were. Yeah, you know I mean, they just totally complicit with this. Let me go on with the video. Because if you didn't know how man smokes weed, if you're a weed smoker, you know what I'm talking about. You know Haman. And he promised me he was going to stop because I said to him, if you don't stop, half of your money will go to that. Yeah. He said to me, Rene, I don't drink, but I do smoke. And I want to party. He have his friends around. Everyone calls him Haman, the Gambian king. I gave him that name. I created the account. He now she said, remember, she said he has his friends around. Let me run that back. He calls him Haman. Weekends, he wants to party. He have his friends around. He wants to party with his friends. All right, just keep a note of that. Everyone calls him Haman, the Gambian king. I gave him that name. I created the account. He didn't come up with it. Mm -mm. And he felt like he needed more than what I was giving him. So he decided to remove me out so he can have full control to... Um, not him, his scammer wife, so she could have full control. Party with his money as much as he can. 
unlimitedly, thinking the money will never finish. See, he partied his money away. You know what I mean? That's what he did. He smoked weed and he went to parties. You remember when he went? Remember when he got his cell phone stolen? If you go, if you go to his channel, he was asking for people to donate money for his cell phone, cause he he went to um, there's some rapper or something like that, some singer named Jizzle. I think he went to that concert in, in, in Senegambia, cause at that time, my family was in um, my family was in the Gambia. Let me let me tell you what type of people the Gambian people are, right? My family, when they was there, they were stay they were staying in a in a in a tav house, like a like a a, a gated community, a, a compound, right? And and a, a neighbor came, a neighbor would would come over. She came over one day because she had like a little a little daughter, and they, and 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 she would come over, and the and the and the mother would come over and just start sweeping the front of the yard, right? So they called me on WhatsApp, and they was like, you know, there, there there's a lady, she 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 sweeping up the front of the yard. So I was like, you know, go out there and give her ten dollars. And they went out, my family went out and, gave, and, and tried to give her money. She didn't want it. And I was like, I was like, give her $20. The lady got upset. The lady got upset because she didn't want no money. She was just, you know, she was just like, wanted to be a good neighbor. And we wasn't used to that. Here in America, we don't talk to our neighbors. We might like do give a little head nod and stuff like that. So my family wasn't used to somebody genuinely doing something out the goodness of their heart and then want nothing in return. That's the type of people you find in the Gambia. You know what I mean? Don't listen to them to them bad stories because it's all about energy. You know what I mean? Some people will tell you on YouTube that they have bad experiences and stuff like that. Don't judge or don't predict the experience that you have is going to be the same experience that somebody else have. It's about the way you live your life and the energy that you project upon people. So when the lady came over, she came over, she wanted to clean up and stuff like that. We offered her money. She didn't want no money. She she just got agitated and, and, and left because she was like, and then she came back the next day with a plate of food. We was like, God damn. You know, we 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 like, we, we insulted this lady. She was just giving, like, I'm not trying to take away, but I just want to tell you the type of people that you're dealing with. You know what I mean? That's why, like, now now that my subscribers gave me Renee Marcus's, um, they sent me this video and told me where to look in and all this information right here. Y'all feel for this woman because she was genuinely trying to help that man. Just like the neighbors where my family was staying when they went to the Gambia was trying to help them. They do things out the, out the goodness of their heart and don't want nothing in return but for you to do good and be happy. That's the type of people that you're dealing with just so long as you yourself is a good person. Because if you're a bad person doing good, chances are they're going to sense that energy. You're going to have a different experience with them people over there. I don't party. I work for my money. And I know where to put my money in order to gain something out of it. So if you're not educated, you don't know how to handle money. You said I scammed you. You partied your money. Nadia Nadida gave you over $7,000 as gift. You... Wait, wait, let me get that lady's name. Nadia Nadida. Nadia Nadia. She gave him over $7,000 as a gift. As a, a, a as a loan, but she she didn't expect that money back. Because she knew Hamid wasn't going to make no seven grand. She gave him the money. They, yo, they, you, yo, listen, you have some people that, that they just sitting on money. Not everybody's broke. And they just looking for a good cause to give to. Give to. So people was watching... Homming on, homming on YouTube, working and, and and digging vans out of holes and digging ditches and doing all this manual labor. They like who that guy working in the background? Yeah, you know I mean, I want I want to help him out. I want to do something for him. I got I got this money and I I can't do nothing with it. My bills are paid. My my mortgage is paid off and this and that. My my bills ain't high. They want to give him something. So this woman named Nadi Nadir, forgive me if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. She gave Homin seven thousand dollars. So she put she she put this up on her channel, and right now this woman's being attacked on her channel. Nadia and or something. Oh, yo, forgive me. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Apologize. But she gave Hamin Jalo seven thousand dollars. She and, and she she put right here on her channel. If she had if she had invested seven thousand dollars on the Dow Jones on the stock market in the year 2030, that seven thousand dollars would have turned into twenty eight thousand three hundred nineteen dollars. Investing in Hamanjalo in 2030, zero. 
She knew she wasn't going to get the money back. But she gave it to him anyway out of faith. Gave you over $7,000 as gift. Mm. You ate all that money. She has her receipts. And the man's back again for 100 grand. Got seven grand. Seven grand. You see how his mother, you see how they living at the house. Seven grand. She showed the receipts that she, that she sent, wired him to $7,000. And he got more than that with the PayPal and the... You have nothing mm. to show. But then again, you turn around and flip and said, where's my money? I want my money. How does that happen? Like, what kind of money do you want again, Hammer? I've told him, stop. The next step, if I see any rubbish, is I am going to court with Haman. Not you, not anyone will stop me because I want Haman to log into that PayPal account I created. I want to see. I want to compare my receipts with him. Renee Marcus, you're vindicated. All accusations against you have been cleared with prejudice. No one could deny, no one, no one could deny that Haman and his brother cannot be trusted. Totally discredited. The only way he could redeem himself is to come out on his YouTube channel and make a public apology and unmask those two scam artists that he has with him as his accomplices. And also his brother has given give an apology to the Gambian people for trying to disgrace them. These are some proud people, man. They, they don't play around, man. I'm tough. I don't know, man. I don't know. They, these people are thorough too. I didn't even know it was gonna go this far. This whole thing is taking on a whole life of its own, man. I'm just, I'm just reporting on the information they send me. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm just along for the ride at this point. So we can close this case. Hmm. It's all right, Dark Chocolate. It's fine. I kept quiet because this is what I didn't God want. Man. I did not want to bash on my own Gambian brother that I helped. Man, Harmon, man, you got yourself in a pickle, man. Look at you, boy. Hmm. I know right now, man, you wish you was, he, 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 he's looking at the days when he was, when he was shoveling dirt as the good old days right now, man. You see, you see what money do to this, do to some people? You know what I mean? Money, when you get it, it just make you more of what you already are. If you a good person, you gonna, you gonna be like Nadia, Nadia. Excuse me. Or Nadia. Hey, hold on, let me get this video. You gonna be like this woman right here. You gonna be like this woman right here. Giving away seven grand so a man could change his life and help his family. Right? Or you wanna be like this man. Get seven grand, squander it, smoking weed, hanging out, chilling. You know what I mean? Hanging out, hanging out with a with a with a scam artist that that thinks cares about you. She don't care about you. You know what I mean? Her first appearance was on July 1st. When did they ramp up? This whole campaign to get a hundred thousand dollars shortly after they went crazy they went ham trying to get us to give trying to trying to shame us talk about we fools we fools if um if we don't believe her and and, and if and if we want forgiveness we, we better um go to the gofundme and 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 and, uh, and ask for forgiveness with our money that's what she was saying watch the video i posted prior to this the two videos i posted prior to this that we 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 better Sorry's not good enough. We better go and donate as much as we can. Basically, pay your rent, buy some food, pay your bills, and give us all the rest of that. As much, you better go donate as much as you can. That's what she said. And, and we fools if we don't believe her lies. Hmm. The audacity of this woman, man. And another thing, remember when she was talking about um, Hamid hanging out with his friends? Let me let, let me find that video real quick. Where's that video? Boom. Got it for y'all right here, man. See, I ain't expected it to be this long, but the truth has a way of just, you know what I mean, running wild. Is this it? Is this it? Boom. If you were sexually abused. Hmm. See, commercials. Get this out the way until the um, commercial's done. And I want to I wanna show y'all the culture. I want to show y'all what's going on with the, with some with some of the young people. I said some, not all. Some of them. And what and what people like 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 Hamid Aguan with down there in the, in the Gambia, yo. Him and his him and his friends. Right here they are, right here. Here's some of, here's some of Hamid's friend friends. Another another video that um 
my subscriber sent me and they told me to look at it, right? Hamid is riding in the back of a truck with some of his friends. And I want I want to show you like one of his one of his little friends hollering at some old white woman in a car driving who's driving behind them. Yeah, you know I mean, saying to her, let me drive and stuff like that. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like this is how they want to they don't want to work. You know what I mean? Some some of them like like Hamid, Hamid's little group, his little clique. They don't want to work for their money. This is all inf new information to me. They don't want to work for their money. Where is it right here? Where is it? Let me find it. Yeah, right here. They don't want to work for their money. They want to find an American who's going to give their money. Here it is right here. They want to find an American to take care of them. You see what I'm saying? And they willing to, y'all you know I mean, sell their bodies, man. Yeah, you know I mean, you know these women are carrying all type of diseases and stuff like that. Y'all, y'all want to give them your bodies? Yeah, you know I mean, and you could lose your life. You know what I mean? Catching some disease from from one of these women. Yeah, you know I mean, coming from from Europe or America that's just looking for some some young boy to sleep with. You know what I mean? For a few pieces of paper. Look at this young boy, man. Got his whole life ahead of him. Whole whole life ahead of him. Calling to some, to some old hag in a car driving behind him. It's sad, man. And that's the culture for, for, for some of these youth. Oh. You right here, right here. You say what? Can I come and drive you? Can I come drive you? You say you want to uh, drive the, uh, the old white lady. He wants to drive the old white lady. You see what I'm saying? That's the culture because they're, they're, they're watching Hamid. Can you imagine if Hamid had got, can you imagine if Hamid was able to raise that money? You know what I mean? And she even gave him a little bit. All his friends would be like, yo, that's the way. That's what we all got to do, make some money. You know what I mean? We all got to find ourselves some foreign woman and, and, and sell ourselves to to her in order to, 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 to change our lives and get ourselves out of poverty. Yo, you got to work, man. You got to You got to struggle. Anyway, let me see. Let me go through this real quick because I don't want to drag this this video out too long. I just wanted to, I wanted to give y'all something so y'all could examine, you know what I mean? Examine for the weekend. And I'm going to be back. You know, if any if I get any further information, I'm going to put it out there, man. I got no choice, man. My community is growing too strong. People, they I mean, they turning over every rock, every stone. They want they want everybody in this situation exposed. You know what I mean? The Gambian people, they not having it. Yeah, you know I mean their reputation, you know their stature, is everything to them, and they 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 don't want to let it slide. Look at the comment section. They like, yo, check out this video. Check out this video. Go go this go to this timestamp. This time they scouring everything, man. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I see a reward for for the identity of these women. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody posts a, a reward. For anybody who, who can take a picture or who knows the identity of these two women that were that were trying to scam people for a hundred thousand dollars. Yo folks, so um I'ma end it right there. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Everybody who's been send, sending me information, I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Join the community. It's growing very strong. And this way we'll be able to stomp out, stomp out corruption wherever we find it together. Y'all take care. See y'all in the next one. Peace.